Let's return to This Week in America. Here's your host, Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to This Week in America. Grief, Love, Other Light Topics is Roy G. Faulkner's first book of poems. He was inspired to write these poems after the loss of his wife and best friend from cancer. The poems explore grief and love and the relationship between the two. Roy is a colon cancer survivor himself, but is now battling prostate cancer. That has not held him back from participating in and competing in his first half marathon in October of 2019. He holds a master's degree in mathematics from the University of Kentucky, currently residing in Louisville, Kentucky. Roy G. Faulkner, author of Grief, Love, and Other Light Topics, our special guest on This Week in America. Roy, welcome to the program. It's great to have you with us. Thank you for uh, for the time. I, I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to talk to you. Well, I so appreciate you coming on and talking about a very important book, Grief, Love, and Other Light Topics. And before we get into the substance of the book, this I mentioned was your first book. You are really an accomplished poet, something that's skilled that not everybody, including the host in the program, not all of us have. When did you start writing poetry? Did this come easy to you? It uh, didn't come easy at all. I, uh, uh, it, it's, it's funny to, to think about this, but I had never really written poetry in my life before uh, my wife died. And then suddenly, uh, after a friend of mine said, uh, after reading something in my, in my journal and a, a text that I had written to my brother, uh, she said, you could be a poet. And it's like, I don't think I'd go that far, I, I said in my grief journal. But uh, the next morning, I just said, I'm, I'll, write, I'll, I'll start writing and see what happens. And so I, I wrote the first poem in about an hour. Um, again, this is... I, I, I can't explain how this came to me. I, 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 I do tell people that uh, I think my wife asked God to grant me the gift of poetry. And, uh, and so I've been writing and uh, this stuff just started flowing and just continues to flow. So I'm, I'm, uh, it's, I don't think they're my words necessarily, but they're, uh, they're inspired. Uh, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm humbled. Uh, to have this opportunity to uh, to write this book and, and express myself. Isn't it interesting? Sometimes things like that happen and you really can't explain it where all of a sudden you find that you are, you are good at, at writing the poetry. It is almost like there was divine inspiration of some kind, wasn't there, as, as you were discovering this talent and, 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 and writing poetry. Yes, yes, it, it uh it, it is, uh, as I said, a humbling experience. Yeah, I'm just writing these things, and it's like I'm uh, I'm at a loss to describe how it all comes together. But it, they they just do. I, I'm I'm writing haikus now, as opposed <laughs> to the to the more traditional poetry. But uh, again, it, it's it's I think of it as a challenge and. Uh, so many of my poems are autobiographical, uh, meaning that you know I, I write about uh, uh, my experience uh, when I proposed to my wife. I, I have a, a poem uh, I wrote about uh, the day, you know, exactly 39 years before she passed away, where uh, we were, I was having a, a party and the snow stopped it from actually occurring, but she lived in the apartment below me. And uh, so she and I had our own little party and it was very nice. And so, so, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of these poems as like my own journey through the grief uh, and coming out through the darkness. Uh, and, and it is a very dark experience as you might expect. Um, and uh, it, it, it does, this book of poetry gave me that release, that uh, that way to express myself that maybe helped me to to get through it quicker. But, you know, everybody goes through grief at their own pace. And it's something that you really can't can't time. Uh, it's it's a uh, it is a difficult experience, obviously. 
What was it like going back and reconstructing your life and the time that you had with your wife and putting it into into the poetry? What was it like for you? I'm sure there were laughters, the laughs as you were doing this, and I'm sure many tears as you were reflecting and writing the, the poems. Yeah. Uh, absolutely, a lot of a lot of crying as I wrote the poetry. Um, uh, it's like it was the very first one I wrote. It's like every line I wrote, I was crying, uh, and uh, it, it was just such a, 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 a huge loss, and and the pain is just so deep. It's just hard to to describe. Um, I I know that. Uh, uh, she's she is still with me in spirit, uh, and uh, it's just it's just a uh, a very difficult thing to do. But but again, I think it was therapeutic for me uh, to to go back and and describe uh, some of the experiences we had together with uh, uh, that the party I met, talked about the proposal uh, that I I uh, mentioned earlier. And uh, and other things that have happened since my wife died. Uh, I, I started writing the poetry just about three months or so after she passed away, and uh, you know I, I also included in the in the book of poems a uh, a poem about an experience I had with uh, someone who played the piano uh, at uh, one of the stores uh, at, at a mall I I go to, and uh, it just just interesting to to see that and also an experience i had at an airport after my wife died and uh just just meeting someone and just talking and and uh how the the conversation flows and and then thinking back how it began uh, so it it was it, it it was a challenge to write these um again i i had no formal training as far as writing poetry i just wrote things in uh in a way that uh made sense to me uh, i even have a poem that i i wrote uh, uh talking about uh time and and how little we really have and how we we never expect it to run out but it it does and it will so it's so well done the book is grief love and other light topics roy faulkner is our guest and the author, that's F-A-U-L-K-N-E-R. And I say that because his website is RoyGFaulkner.com. Book available at Amazon, published by Lit Prime. Their website is LitPrime.com. All of this, of course, on our website, ThisWeekInAmerica.us. Talk about, you said everybody deals a little bit differently with the, with, with the, the grieving process. How long did it take for you? And maybe you're still in the process of trying to, to sort through the grief. Well, I think, I, I don't know if anybody will ever fully get over the grief yes. uh, of, of a loved one. Um, I think there will always be days where I will cry, whether it's, you know, remembering her birthday or our anniversary or other things. I'll, I'll tell you uh, some stories. I, uh, uh, was watching uh, some a, a movie. I was watching um, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. It's it's not considered a tearjerker in any sense of the uh, of the word, but uh, there was a point in time where in they were in Chicago and and the camera goes to one of the paintings in the museum they were visiting, and it reminded me of of a drawing that my wife had done. In, in the style of the guy, it was like a ballerina. And I saw that it was like a one second shot of, of that of that picture. And I began to cry. Uh, and and uh, it, it, I think it will always stay with you. I think there are times when you become hardened to it. And and uh, the some of the things don't bother you as much. But I think your mind will always go back to the times that you had with them. and uh and uh, those experiences and um uh, it, it it will cost tears from time to time how long um, did it it's take a, you? Uh, it is a difficult it is a difficult thing to to go through i can imagine having being married 
51 years and as you get older we're here for a a limited amount of time as you said and you think what would happen Mm -hmm. if and i i don't know how you deal with the grief the loss the void that that's in your life you you turn to to poetry and you're you're sharing it with other people even though others experiences may be a little bit different uh, than what you went through there's this common bond there that uh, that empathy and it, uh, it it's helping so many people the book is grief love and other light topics by Roy Faulkner I'll give you all the information where you can uh, get the book as as we go through the program what have you learned about uh, about grief through this process well i've learned that grief and love are inseparable because without love, there is no grief. And so uh, it, 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 grief is proof that you have loved. And to some degree, it's, it's a good thing. It, it, you, you get those feelings of love and, and the missing of that, that person that is gone. And uh, it, it does tell you that, yes, you love them and uh, the, 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 the deeper the love, the, the deeper the grief. Uh, and I think it's, it, is a, it is a difficult experience. And it, again, I, I wrote these poems in 2019 till through the first few weeks of 2020 before the pandemic began. And now with, with uh, all the uh, deaths from the coronavirus, uh, you know, there are so many people out there grieving uh, from losing yes. their their parent, their their child, their spouse, uh, and and so on. That uh, you know, maybe this book can help someone sort of come to grips with uh, with with the healing process and come to grips with uh, what they need to do to get through the darkness and to see that there is a way through the darkness into the light and uh it it uh hopefully we can encourage them to to find their own outlet to uh to deal with the grief i ask about what you learned about about grief and you tied that in with love how special is that to have that type of love that that you and your wife shared well, I, I hope everybody has that opportunity in their life to to meet that person, uh, and and obviously, um, it, it is a, a special bond uh, that that is to some degree indescribable. Uh, you know, you you share everything together. You you uh, uh, are, are with them uh, more than anybody else uh, in the world, um, uh, even. Uh, hopefully more time than, than you had with your parents when you were growing up. You know, I, we were married for 38 plus years and, and you know, I, I lived with my parents and, and uh, siblings until I was oh, 19, 20 or so and went yes. to college uh, and, and graduate school. Uh, so, you know, I was, I was with her longer than I was, I, I lived with my parents. And so it, it is, it is a, a special bond. It, it's a, uh, it, it's more intense than anything you've ever felt before, uh, having that kind of love and, uh, you know, wanting the best for that person. Um, and, uh, and I'm sure, you know, unfortunately, my wife and I did not have any children, but I can imagine that, that it's the same kind of, of love that, uh, uh, you know, unbreakable love that, uh, that you would have for a child. The book is Grief, Love, and Other Light Topics. You talk about time and you talk about healing. Is there a connection between the two? Well, I, I think the the little saying, time heals all wounds, I think that is true. Uh, but how much time does it take? You know, that's going to vary. You know, it's like uh, I, I have a poem that I, I wrote comparing grief to the bends. Uh, and, and, you know, when you come up too, if you're uh, a diver and you come up too quickly, uh, you can get the bends, but you know, there's a formula, you know, you, you get back the pressure and time and, and you can fix the the issue and and recover from it. Uh, but there is no fixed timetable for, for this. 
Um, and uh, it, it just depends on so many factors. Certainly, I, I was very lucky to have a set of friends and family that were so supportive uh, and uh, would would uh, come over and, and we would talk or, or even, you know, luckily, you know, and, and with our technology today, we can text, we can oh, yes. do FaceTime, uh, we can do all kinds of things. Uh, and and uh, I made it a point to try to go out every day and, and just think outwardly and not and not sit in a darkened room and cry. And that's very easy to do. I can understand how people do that. They just don't want to do anything. But uh, I made it a point to go out uh, most every day, made it a point to call or text somebody every day just to be out and 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 think about uh others and and what i can do for myself and what i can do for others too well and that's what you're doing with, it, with the book you know right. you've, you've and been that's, through that's, that that's the the purpose behind publishing yeah, the book that yeah. that you know show people you know that there is a way through that uh you know it, it's not something that's going to last forever uh, grief is not eternal. It will fade away one day and uh, hopefully uh, sooner than later, but it, it, it takes whatever time it takes. How has this experience changed you? I, I think I've realized uh, the, the fragility of life, uh, realize how quickly time goes I tell people that, you know, time doesn't just have wings. It's jet propelled. <laughs> yes. uh, and, and, uh, it, it, it does fly. And, and to take the opportunity, uh, when, whenever I, uh, talk to a friend on the phone or I see them in person, I tell them that I love them because it could be the last time I see them or they, the last time they see me. Yes. And I want them to know that and and that's that's something that i i didn't really do before but i now i do every time i see them uh that is one of my the, the changes i've made uh in my own um personal philosophy a couple of minutes left in the program the book is uh, written by roy g faulkner f-a-u-l-k-n-e-r the book is grief love and other light topics uh Roy's website is a great source of information. You'll find the book at Amazon as well, published by Lit Prime, litprime.com, their website. What do you hope others take, uh, take away from, from reading Grief, Love, and other light topics? What, uh, what is your hope that um, a reader will, will get in reading this? Well, I think uh, that, that they'll see, uh, as they go from, from front to back, uh, that's the way I suggest they read it to, to see that the that there is the the uh, roller coaster type ride. It, it, grief hits hard, it lightens a bit. But then you'll hit an anniversary, you'll hit a birthday, or you'll hit something, and then it gets dark again, and then you lighten up. And it's it's not uh, something that you just uh, shoot straight up and 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 you're over it. It's going to go up and down, and it's going to go up and down for a long time. Um, and, uh, but, but also realize that there is a way through the, the grief and to, to get through the darkness and, and, uh, you, you need to surround yourself with friends that are supportive. You need to be out and see people and, and not let grief overwhelm you, but come out of it on the other side and uh, with with new with new uh, uh, hope and and optimism for the future. Well, you found a way to express your grief and help other people all at the same time, and it uh, the book is is doing so well, receiving excellent reviews because of that. People are able to read and go through the process just as you have done. Uh, I. Mentioned first time poet, really doing well with that. You've elevated to Haku now. What, what are you working on next? Do you have another book that you're uh, working on? I I don't know if I will publish another book or not. Uh, the haikus have been coming, uh, again, like a little flood coming. Uh, again, I don't know where the inspiration comes from. Uh, 
but um, I, I know in probably the last, oh, eight months or so, I've written maybe four or 500. Um, it, it's, wow. I, I, don't, I don't know how good they are or anything else. Uh, I, I try to express something. And again, the, the challenge with a haiku is you've got just those 17 syllables to, to, uh, yeah. to write your thought and and have it say what you want to say, but keep it in that construct. Um, and and I, I will say also in in the uh, in the book Grief, Love, and Other Light Topics, there are I believe nine haikus that I, I included in that book. So you'll see a few of those there too. But uh, don't know if I have anything another book in mind or uh, or on the horizon. But uh, I'm I'm doing this uh, for fun, and I do post some of them on Facebook. Uh, weekly, I'll, I'll put a few out there. How can people so. find you on Facebook? I'm uh, Roy Faulkner. Just a, very Facebook. simple. Okay, well, some people are tricky, and it's <laughs> follow me on Facebook, and then you can't <laughs> figure out how you should follow them on Facebook. So I like this. Very basic. Roy Faulkner, and that's uh, the website as well, RoyGFaulkner.com, and Faulkner is F-A-U-L-K-N-E-R. Book available at uh, Amazon, the usual places. Roy, it's been a pleasure to have you on the program. You're helping so many people by sharing your grief and your experiences and bringing a smile to the faces of many people and tears as well as they read uh, uh, your very touching poems, book, Grief, Love, and Other Light Topics. Thank you for being with us on the program. Thank you. I've enjoyed being with you. It's been our pleasure. And once again, Roy's website is RoyGFaulkner.com. All this information on our website, ThisWeekInAmerica.us. Go there. We'll find a link and take you directly to uh, Roy's website. You're listening to This Week in America, and we're back after these messages. This Week in America is online. You can visit our website, ThisWeekInAmerica.us. Scott Pinkerton, associate producer of This Week in America. Jay Anderson, segment producer. Ben Watson, webmaster. Otto Bache, director of engineering and TV production. This Week in America produced and is a trademark of Blue Funk Broadcasting, LLC. For information on all of our guests and to listen to this week's show, our website again at thisweekinamerica.us. And I'm Sean Bratton, executive producer of This Week in America.